so it was like a boom and by the time then the flames were just so high and now the aftermath as the death toll rises authorities say six people are dead after a plane crashes into a home in Gaithersburg those are the two breaking stories we're following tonight. Good evening, everybody. I'm Stan Stovall. And I'm Donna Hamilton. Just a short time ago, authorities announced three people on board the plane died and three people inside the home were also killed. 11 News I team reporter Barry Sims is live in Gaithersburg with the late breaking details on the crash investigation. Barry. Donna, that search for those three missing people has ended. They were found inside the home. They were found dead inside the home. The NTSB has now started its investigation. The National Transportation Safety Board is taking over the investigation, trying to determine why a twin engine jet approaching the Montgomery County Air Park crashed into this home in Gaithersburg. There were uh, three people aboard the jet, all of which are confirmed fatalities at this time. We also have three unaccounted for residents here on the cul de sac. Witnesses say they could hear the jet, which was similar to this one and registered to Sage Aviation in North Carolina, was apparently in trouble. I seen them kind of barrel off to the left and kind of begin to dive. And uh, then I saw just a, a plume of smoke, uh, made a bunch of U turns, found my way into the neighborhood, just kind of following the smoke. Uh, found this house here totally engulfed. Uh, while it was burning, there was a secondary explosion that took place in this home. Um, part of this house was on fire along with the uh, fuselage of the wing assembly that's laid in the driveway. I think what shook everybody else up is the first boom when it initially hit because that's when everybody's house started to rumble. Everybody's going crazy. Everybody's scared, you know, wondering what's going on. The plane damaged two houses before slamming into the third on Drop Forge Lane. It was just a big gulf of flame and then right out of it you see a big <sighs> of smoke, a big mushroom smoke. The chief of Montgomery County Fire and Rescue says within a minute of the first 911 call, emergency crews began responding and arrived at the scene within seven minutes. Jocelyn Brown says she and other neighbors tried to assist. Oh, you hear one explosion, two explosions. People's like, maybe that's the gas pipes. There's people trying to get in around the back of the house. There's like a um, backyard. People are back there trying to see if they can see in. You know, people's calling, you know, is there anybody inside? Now, the NTSB says that it is trying to determine what happened and why. Here's what a spokesman said about the beginning of its investigation. In this particular case, as many of the airplanes nowadays, uh, the recorders are, are, are in one combined unit. So that has not only the cockpit voice recorder, but it also has the flight data recorder. And as soon as those, as soon as that black box was was recovered, uh, it was in. By the way, it was in good physical condition. It has been uh, uh, rushed to our headquarters in Washington D.C., where folks in our labs, investigators in our labs, will begin this evening uh, downloading the data. Now, the NTSB also says that it's going to be looking at several other things, including the crew's experience, the people that were on the jet, their training, also the plane's engine and air traffic control, and they will also interview air traffic controllers. Reporting live from Gaithersburg in Montgomery County, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News. All right, Barry, thank you very much. And we also have confirmation now the three people inside the home in Gaithersburg who were killed, an adult female and two young children, but identities not released yet. Yeah, just a terrible tragedy there.